All right, this is the Algebra 2 Practice ELC question number 44. And the question says, the sum, that's the first thing that I think we should stop at and kind of understand, figure out what the sum means. The sum, anytime you see that, typically means addition, OK? It says the sum of two complex numbers is. Whenever you see the word is, typically, that's going to mean an equal sign, OK? It says the sum of two complex numbers is negative 3 plus 5i. So it equals negative 3 plus 5i. Okay? If one of these complex numbers is 1 minus 8i, as in if one of these numbers is 1 minus 8i, what do we need to add to that in order for it to become a negative 3 plus 5i? So what is the other number? Okay, well, let's look at our answer choices here, okay? Again, we're going to kind of look at this like we're trying to combine like terms or kind of combine all of our integers together. Well, we already have the number 1, okay? Well, if you look at our answer choices, we have negative 4 is an integer, negative 4 is an integer, negative 2, and negative 2. So we're trying to figure out if we have the number 1 and we're adding either a negative 4 or a negative 2, which one is going to give us a negative 3? Well, let's look. If you have 1 plus a negative 2, well, that's just going to give us a negative 1. Well, obviously, negative 2 didn't give us what we wanted. Well, 1 plus negative 4, that gives us negative 3, which is what we wanted. So we know that the integer that we need in our final answer is going to have to be negative 4. So we can go ahead right now and eliminate choices H and choice J. Okay, well now we just dealt with the integer portion of this. Well now we need to deal with the imaginary portion. Well if we're looking at the imaginary numbers, we are given or we start off with a negative 8i. Okay, so if we start off with a negative 8i, we realize that our two choices are going to be a positive 13i and we're also going to have a negative 3i. Okay, and again, those two added together, the sum, if we sum those or add them together, we should end up with a positive 5i. Okay, well, if I have $13 and then you take eight of those dollars away from me, of course, I'm only going to have $5 left. Okay, well, in this other example here, if you owe me $8 and then the next day you end up giving me three of those dollars I'm not sure if that's right if I have eight if you owe me eight dollars and I'm adding a negative three I to that that's going to end up being a negative eleven I so you're gonna I loan you some more money okay so if you owe me eight dollars and then you say hey man I still need three extra dollars so I give you even more money you're gonna owe me a total of eleven dollars so if you look at that you're gonna realize that this one can't be right this negative three I is not gonna help us so you're gonna see that this thirteen I is what we need this to be which is gonna end up being choice F and again, if those imaginary numbers still kind of throw you off a little bit, why don't you just go ahead and use x's as your variable? So if you're trying to add a 13x and then subtract an 8x from that, well, you're going to get 5x, and then you can just replace your x with an i in your final answer. So again, your final answer is choice F. Good luck, and I hope this helps.